SCP Foundation Site-19, Log Entry Number 8, Item Number, SCP-148, Codename, Telekill Alloy, Object Class Euclid. SCP-148 is a metallic substance composed of a variety of known and unknown elements. The total mass of SCP-148 on hand is approximately 1.2 tones. SCP-148 has a gray-green color with a bluish tinge and oxidizes readily in the presence of water. SCP-148 has a melting transition point of approximately 4,500 degrees Celsius and a boiling transition point of approximately 9,000 degrees Celsius. Damn. SCP-148 has a density of... They seem to have correct this... 6.76 grams per cubic centimeter, and qualifies as HRC-39 in a Rockwell hardness test. It exhibits material properties such as strength, ductility, and workability, similar to platinum. Nice. SCP-148 is composed primarily of platinum and iridium, the two composing 62% and 20% of its mass, respectively. In addition, several other known metals are present in its composition, including iron, cobalt, and copper, and collectively make up 16.5% of SCP-148's mass. However, given the mass of the material, there are believed to be other substances not detectable by mass spectrometry or other means. Images of SCP-148 taken with a scanning tunneling microscope show gaps in its lattice that, under normal circumstances, would be filled with other materials. SCP-148 has shown the ability to block or otherwise hinder extrasensory mind-affecting properties of living organisms in proximity to it. This effect, while difficult to quantify, appears inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the subject to SCP-148 surface and directly proportional to the quantity of SCP-148 in consideration. The range for which this effect is detachable is roughly 1.8 meters per kilogram of SCP-148. It is for this reason that several ingots of SCP-148 were shipped to Site-17 in order to better handle mind-affecting SCPs, such as the previously elaborated upon SCP-239. 1.1 tones of SCP-148 was retrieved from the Metallurgy Department of Prometheus's lab base facility during the Foundation's sweep of the building. Documents concerned with the project had unveiled that the substance was to be subject to additional deployment, sold to <laughs> trademarked, and sold as Telekill Alloy. However, due to <laughs> and its political fallout, along with the along with the destruction of the Prometheus Labs base facility, <laughs> has acquired an estimated at 1.3 tons of SCP-148 and sold it to unknown buyers. Foundation agents and forensic accountants are in the process of tracking the remaining supplies of SCP-148. Special Containment Procedures Revision 3 SCP-148 is to be stored as 120 cast ingots, each of which weighs approximately 10 kilograms at time of writing. Ingots of SCP-148 may not be housed at the same site as any SCP, due to the potential for unforeseen interactions. However, said ingots should be distributed equally among acceptable Foundation facilities. The mass of each contained ingot of SCP-148 must be measured and reported monthly. Under no circumstances should any SCP with mind-affecting or extrasensory properties come into contact with SCP-148. In the event of such contact, the immediate area must be evacuated and affected sample of SCP-148 detonated remotely. Personnel are not to be assigned to SCP-148 for a period of time longer than three weeks. Any personnel assigned to SCP-148 are to be given regular psychological evaluations.